Guys, we are on a safari, so we're going to enjoy our new year on a different destination. You can see we're already en route. Today is on the 31st. I don't know how it will be, so hoping for the best. Guys, we just got to Larry, and when you are here, there's a rubies, there's an exon, and just some few meters above, right in front, you have one of the best, the best stopover in the country. So for me, this is a must stop area, you know. Really a nice place. So we're going to grab some shopping here. Because we need some drinks for the boat. Too cold. That is too cold. I don't like too cold. I don't like things that are very cold. I need this for my sugar. I don't know what else do I buy. Maybe some water. Water is never enough. Uh. Hi. outfit. What are you taking? Uh, uh. For me and for. So the safari is ready. Uh, the place is just a few meters away to the uh, viewpoint. So, the viewpoint. Oh, guys are having fun. Huh? Guys are having my fun. Kuru County has some cows. Ooh, that's in the middle is uh, Karanja, mm -hmm. and then on the right is Jerry. On the left is Wamboyu, of course. No. Wow. No. This is a man. Which one? Wow. The right. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. He doesn't have menus. <laughs> oh, aye. Ikea. Jerry, I'm not going to I'm not going to so we stopped by our normal Kuku Kenyeji place along Element Titan. So guys, they always have the best uh, Kenyeji chicken, some rice, some ugali before we go to our final destination. How are you feeling? I can't wait. How was the journey? Uh, so relaxing and cool and calm because there are no people, many people on the road. Amazing. We came to know this place. We always stop here for the amazing Kukuchong. It's also called Stopover. <laughs> uh, oh, there's an additional business ahead in front of it. You can see. Small Kikope, that is the rubies. Rubies somewhere there. Yamachoma place and uh, yeah, just ahead uh, on your way to Nakuru. In front. So guys, we're here, Jakaranda. Just on the road. This is our bed. We have a baby cot here. This is a uh, we, it was given to us. We just requested no additional fee. Yeah, so study area or rest area. So that is the room. So apparently, this place has been here since 1916. So this is the shower. This is the shower area. You can see. Yeah, look. Yeah. 
Somebody's throwing flowers. Jump! 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 From this line together, one, two, three, four. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yes. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year 2022! I hope Melga, Melga, you come into the year when you're clean, ready for the new beginning! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year guys! Happy New Year! Wishing you guys a blessed New Year! Oh. Yo! Happy New Year guys! Morning! Yeah, today's a beautiful morning guys! Just woken up to a very tranquility place and I can see Sleeping Warrior from here Oh, tranquil guys, I'm being told by my better half so sleeping warrior you can see it from here i'll be showing you guys more details about this area as we go by you know and uh yeah are we going for breakfast right now uh we did more of a sleep it's almost uh nine so yep so guys see you see you see you guys yeah okay. she's a great <laughs> Woo! happy new year happy new year yeah. beautiful man Beautiful, daddy. And you beautiful. 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 <laughs> beautiful. You're looking good, mama. Thanks. You're looking good. Wow. The good year. This is your year, seems like. This is my year. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing, what am I wearing? Huh? Gikomba. <laughs> so guys, this is. Bad, huh? This is the dining area and the tables are reserved. Every table is reserved. Giraffe! Giraffe! I do not want to start to set up. Giraffe! Giraffe! Just look how tranquil this place looks. How feels. Used to be a carriage here. Yeah. Yeah. We have some cereals here, some bread, some French toast, I don't know what, croissants. We we'll have some eggs, pancakes. Some uh, auto roots, sweet potato, potatoes. Bacon. Oh, baked beans and um, minced meat. Minced meat. Sausages and uh, bacon. Wow, I'm starting here. So the tea is here. Guys, we had to come out because my wife wants to eat while, you know, um, what you call an otajua, you know, as he's sun basking, you know, it's the, the sun feels so good, Yanni. Out here, uh, guys are taking meals from the uh, yeah, and also giving champagne. You can say that they're saying it's home brewed champagne. Having today is. Guys, we're being taken by Zachary for an adventure so around Elementite Lake. So let's see what this place got. So, guys, we are on a safari with my guy small Toyota. Let, let's see how it takes us today. Let's see how it takes us today. Never gotten this close to the sleeping warrior. So, uh, 
man this is an adventure i actually didn't plan for this we didn't at all plan for this this is so random but so exciting at the same time adventure indeed the road is hella dusty Feels like water gets to this point, you know. You can feel this is a water spot. This is a wet area. Look at that view, man. This is amazing. And you can feel the temperature is cooler here. Super cool, super chill. This is salty water. Salty water. Oh, so the guy said spray. Is we have hot spring here. Go there, you take a photo. Wow, that is like 60 degrees. Aye. Aye. Can't even hold it. Aye. Oh, Niapa. Wow, guys. Woo, 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 guys. I don't even to. Wow. <laughs> so, Zachary, I pay me for how long? I uh, work for since I came here, I found it here. It's yeah. one of the main inlets of the lake. Oh, it's one of the main inlets. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. So yeah. it feeds the lake. So it feeds the lake. Yeah. Oh. So you see, it's flowing. Mm. Does the lake have a main water in here? A water, a river? What? Lake. You can a river place up. Ah, I know river in here. You can see some of the water, but when it is uh -huh. dry, uh -huh. it's uh, dry up. The lake. I don't know underground. Nam kuna fish apa kweli? Kuna grahamic fish that are found here. So Ilek is not deep. It's the deepest part is like how much? It's uh, one meter. One meter, just one, one meter. meter. Just one meter. Does it ever dry, Kabisa? It's I've never. I have been here for twenty years. It has really never dried. Yeah. Huh? Just reduced, but it's have never dried. Uh, oh, completely. completely. So only to divide almost to divide into two, but uh, the rain came. And there's no like a river that goes in, it's just the springs. The small spring that uh seasonal. Like this one. This one uh, is uh, it's not seasonal. This one is permanent. They are permanent throughout the year. Yeah. Guys, this is hot water from the ground. Yeah, from eh? the ground. And it's been like this forever. Does it ever get cold? Uh ever ever is hot. It's ever hot. Yeah. Always. Wow. Hot. I wish I had come with a thermometer. Do you know how, what, how many degrees? <laughs> it's like uh, 60 degrees. Yeah, 60. Like guys, it's like 60, 70 degrees. Yeah. Ah, like I can't, I can't stand here for long. <laughs> it's hot. Man, and the water is nice. And I hear it has medicinal value, right? Yeah, it has medicinal value. Because mm. uh, they say that uh, it treats uh, skin disease. Mm. Also, the, for those who have uh, uh, have uh, some, uh, they have problem with the wounds and uh, pimples. Oh, it it, it, it helps. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, because yeah, it's a skin. There was a time yeah. there was uh, a group of uh, Asians who came here, Wendy, yeah. Yeah. and they they carried uh, uh, two bottles. Yeah. They, when they went to India, yeah. they said it has a lot of. Uh, Minerals that are that are medicinal. Um, yeah. Wow. So th does it does this mean that uh, this place has an active volcano, right? Yeah, it shows that uh, it's still there's something that is active underground because mm. if you see the the stones, mm. they are brown in color and mm. green. That shows that uh, there's still something burning underground. I hope it doesn't turn up over here. <laughs> so, but uh, you, you, they can make uh, the the geothermal. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, uh, cause we are not far from uh, we are not far from uh, Olkaria. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. It's like it's the same uh, uh, volcano that is at uh, Olkaria mm. and Eburu escarpment. 
Amazing. Yeah. Thank so you. for them, they get steam. Yeah. Us here, we get water. Hot water. Oh, yeah. 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 Amazing. So, so guys, um, on the shores of the lake, especially where we are, we have like five to six springs. So you have different people in different hot, areas. Hot, hot water, hot spring. Yeah. So some people were, you know, some bathing on some. Some were doing some cleaning, so couldn't take on all. But yeah, it's one of those. Uh, places you should come and enjoy actually didn't know we had this and that is the source of the water for the lake you can imagine the, the lake is fed by hot springs man it's it's amazing it's amazing so right now guys what we're going to do is uh we are going to the other side to see the flamingos yep stick around on the road as we're getting there we are getting there. We are getting there. Thank you. So, guys, this adventure is getting interesting and more interesting. I'm sure when it's when it has rained, this place looks amazing. There's there's a log here. There's a bees. These are boys. They girls. Raising a lot of goats and sheep. And there's a monument on top of the hill there. Build his own house here. A very nice house. Now oh, this is what I'm talking about. It's a wooden house. It's a beautiful, very beautiful wooden house. Oh, this is a hotel. Something a small hotel. Somebody. Horizon, you can see lake. You can see some, I know, hotel there. They must be suffering from dust. So the next time you want to come to see the flamingos, there's a capital beach garden. Element tighter. Probably you can use that. You can use a Google map with that location. Then yeah. The, the lake gets up to here when it's cool. You can see some salt sediments. So many flamingos. And this all this the, the water gets up to these points. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, flamingos. Yeah. Greater flamingos, they are big in size but less pinkish and they are omniferous. So they they are they have uh, only few uh, less pinkish and that big size. They are omniferous. The other one is herbivorous, small size. Both species they don't breed here, they breed in Lake Natron in northern Tanzania. And uh, I have been here for 20 years, I've never seen an egg of flamingo. You can go to that side and see them, and then you come back. The bigger ones that are swimming here, those are great pelican. The two, the two big birds there. The other one at the show, those are tan. T-U-R-N. Tan. You have flamingos on the horizon. So guys, guys, I see flamingos living. Ooh. They don't want to see people. Oh, underground spring here. Yeah, Those so guys, we've been told there's a fresh underground spring here. That's why you see a lot of acacia trees. This is interesting. Eh? Very good guy today. So where, where are you taking us right now? I'm taking you to the, the seasonal spring that is drinking water to the lake. But uh -huh. seasonal. It's seasonal. Yeah. And this is the only fresh water that is uh, draining to the lake. To the lake. The rest are salty. Salty. Oh, oh this lake is uh, mysterious. And due to that, you have a lot of trees on this side. Eh? Yeah. And it's coming from the hills. Eh? From the hill. Uh -huh. from, uh, hot spring also. But oh. uh, when it gets to Kariandusi, mm. it goes underground. Yeah. Then it comes to the service when it's near to the lake. So mm -hmm. at the Kariandusi there, you'll not see anything, but you'll see the body, a dry body. Oh, so it, it goes no underground? Yeah, it goes underground. Oh. Done with the flamingos. Now time to see the history. It's a fair history. So we're going to see some history of this area. Okay, there is a plant that is here that is called night blooming cactus. Night blooming cactus is an exotic plant that was brought here by the Lamea. He planted along the boundary of his land to keep away the Africans so that uh, they don't trespass to his land. 
You remember Dalame was the one who was owning all this land from Naivasha to Nakuru? And uh, he didn't like African to be trespassing. Uh, this plant is very poisonous and very sharp thorns. And uh, it can occupy a big space of land. Uh, the uses of it is to make a life fence, although it's poisonous. And some people they use it as a flower. You cut a piece, then you plant it on a pot, then you use it as a flower. Uh, when you want it to destroy it, unless you burn it deeper, because if you try to burn it, it can't get burned, because it's fresh. Uh, the plant itself, uh, it can take time before you finish, uh, maybe in your land, because you see like this one, it is three years since it was cut and still it's fresh. Three years. Three years. And still it's fresh. <laughs> if you cut a piece of it and drop it on the ground, it starts growing. Night blooming cactus, an exotic plant that was brought here by the Lamer. The Mexican marigold. Yeah. So we continue there. This one, this one that is called a Lexia. Lexia is an African indigenous to do well in a dry area. It produces the fruits that are edible and actually the, the, the stem used to give some community who live in a dry area water. They used to take that sap as water. They cut, then they take that sap as water. So it's not poisonous and also not, not edible. Oh, Very beautiful. sharp stones, so bold because of the shape of the stem. Mm. <laughs> this one, Sodomepo, Sodomepo, mm. yeah, it is poisonous but it is medicinal. The flute itself, right? if you have a snake bite, you just cut, you apply to the wood that you have a snake bite, and then blood will start coming out, and when the blood comes out, you get the, the, the poison is out. Any snake or specific? Uh, specific. God called us brother-in-law to Lord Dalame. Uh, uh, Lord Kolo was given this land by Dalame because Dalame is the one who came first to Kenya. Yeah, kuna kitu flani na toa on the side. Whoa, guys, we left. So, guys, we left. Uh, the you know the excitement. So, right now we're back, and uh, I've just showered. So we're going back. We're going down there for lunch. And we go for swimming and yeah so stick with us this is a holiday season and yeah this is the first day of the year 2022 for me it's a family day so uh, we just wish pray for more blessing more time together and more growth guys oh my god are you about to propose again yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, happy new year y'all happy new year go to labor moment as well and subscribe yeah, check, check labor moment Guys, we're here for lunch. And, uh, what are you having, Mama? Fried chicken, some lamb, some pasta, and some rice and some. Mm. I've just tasted a bit of everything. Mm. So, guys, we're just enjoying our time. I feel so relaxed and so chilled out. And from here, we can see the lake. Man, the exposure is too high. But yeah, we're really having a good time. Super amazing time, slow music on the background. Amazing. Today is our last night here. Good morning guys, today is the, the last day. Today is on the second. And uh, it's our day to go back to Nairobi. So, yeah. It's been an amazing time and uh, yeah, just glad to have come to this place. Guys, it's time to go back to the city. Yeah, you know, we're done with the adventure and uh, guys, I would recommend Jakaranda like I mean, to all of you guys. This is a place like it's really chilled out, you know. One of the, those places that uh, we really had a good time. We didn't expect the first time we arrived, we were like, I no, but the first stay we had to extend so yeah this is not a paid commercial so so yeah see you guys on the other side so on the road going back to Nairobi now I hope uh, the traffic will not be as crazy yep Babuna and zebras on the road
guys so we finally arrived in nairobi we took uh, about two hours uh, from element Taita to nairobi and yeah we came there was no crazy traffic on the road we just met i think uh, one accident on the road and uh, not no we are not involved in it but uh yeah so i urge people who are on the way to nairobi just take care and uh yeah last but not last but not least let me just wish you guys a prosperous a blessed you know happy new year and anyone that is important to you just wish them a great 2022 this is a new year of election in kenya it's usually not the best year for your investment but uh for tourism but yeah just if you plan to come to kenya come before august you will have a good time so see you guys and uh see you on the next one peace out